Hi, this is Coach Amber, and welcome to the Meet RX Success Story Podcast. Today we have John with us, and he's going to tell hey. us a little bit about his carnivore success story. Hey, John. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Good, good. So, can you tell us what was it? What was your uh, health like prior to carnivore? If you could kind of give us a little bit of I, an idea of where you were at, maybe what you were eating, those kind of things health issues? Well, I've always been pretty self, uh, health conscious. Uh, like, like I mentioned it before I was, uh, hit the gym when I started working out with a friend in his backyard when I was 22. And then basically through the years before there were gyms around, I usually had to sneak to a TCU university or UTA to work out their gym. So I've always been trying to just get to be normal. You know, because I was a real small guy to begin with. In fact, when I was 21, I weighed like 120 pounds. So I weigh 175 now. And at the top, I was like close to 200. So anyways, uh, about three years ago, I've always taken a lot of supplements and stuff. About three years ago, I messed around a little bit. Shouldn't have, but with ProVigil, which a lot of people are doing. It works on a histamine issue. It increases your histamine. And I did it just like on the weekend, just to study and do stuff like that. And the next thing you know, it kind of got out of hand in the way that my body reacted to a dose. And I was totally allergic to everything. I had to go to steroid shots from the doctor. Inside my mouth turned white, geographic tongue, looked like I had sunburn. You know, it's, it's a bad reaction to it. So anyways, to, through elimination, I found about the only thing I could eat was meat, beef, uh, steel oats, and broccoli spears. Not broccoli, but uh, what's the other one? Broccoli's good enough. And so I noticed that when I was doing this, I started feeling better, and all the issues started clearing up. And I noticed uh, through the years I've been working, now it's kind of like uh, a lot of people of my age, when you do a lot of cardio and you work out in the gym, and all that stuff, I just had this gut that just grew and it wouldn't go away. No matter how lean I got, I always had that pooch. And I noticed basically what happened, I kind of went on a keto type diet. Didn't plan it that way. Of course, I watched Joe Rogan all the time and uh, Rhonda Patrick and all that good stuff. And I noticed that my gut was going away. I had to go down, my, my belt went down three notches. And then I saw uh, your boss on Joe Rogan, and he was awesome. It just blew my mind what I saw. And at first, I was kind of going, just meet, and then I listened to him. And I said, what the heck? I'm still having allergic issues. So about three months ago, I just started doing just meat. And I do have macular degeneration. And I noticed I've been diagnosed with macular degeneration about three or four years ago. I was getting a pretty pretty bad case of it. And I noticed when I was on this keto, my vision improved a little bit. I mentioned it to my doctor. He says, well, just keep it up and take all the supplements like gluten and all that stuff. And uh, what happened is I came across an article where this uh, – man had a 70 year old 78 year old mother and she had macular degeneration so she put her he put his mother on uh the diet of just beef period got to be real no cheat days just strict strictly and with six months most of her visions returned and she's a lot worse off than i am so i started doing it about two months ago and my macular degeneration i would say with my left eye, I couldn't even read a book. In fact, if I was watching somebody walk away, it was so bad, their legs would disappear like like in a mirage on a, like like if you look over the horizon on a hot day, their, their legs would disappear. And I couldn't read with my left eye. I had to rely on my right eye. I was looking just yesterday at a very small print, and I could see every line's perfectly straight, and I could actually read. I'd say my vision's improved about 60%, 70%. And that's someone that's supposed to be blind in a couple of years. So I think it's a good deal. 
Yeah. That, that's that's quite an <laughs> awesome deal. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who are going to be really uh, hopeful uh, after right. hearing and your story. And then when Joe Rogan did his, I, that's, that was a, kind of the deal that sealed it. You know, Joe Rogan's been a real, you know, I'm 70 years old and uh, every friend I've ever had passed. Every person, every single childhood, 20s, 30s, friends of my 40s, every, I'd say I've been to about 25 funerals in the last 50 years. Every friend's died. So really, when you're kind of semi-retired, there's not, you want my young person, they don't even talk to you these days. So basically kind of like my social outlet, kind of getting exposed to the world, just like I put on my earbuds and go walking, and I listen to Joe Rogan when I exercise. And uh, it's been an education, and that's where I learned about, you know, the carnivore diet, and it's basically saved my life. And right now, uh, since I've been on about two straight months being strict and not cheating at all, I have a, my stomach is flat as it was since I was 25. There is no gut at all. I actually get in a, a rib, you know, the, what do you call it, six-pack? 70-year-old <laughs> with a six-pack. So, uh, and up until... This uh, can't they close the gym last week, but uh, I was actually doing gains in the gym. I was like benching 265, 270 around there. And uh, I don't know, just trying to stay with it. It's kind of hard, but I've uh, I figured out get some big old jugs like detergent filled full of water and you got some dumbbells. <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah. So you improvise. I love it. That's awesome. So can right. you kind of give us an idea of uh, how you implemented the carnivore diet? Like what did you eat? Maybe how often you ate those kind of things. I think people are kind of interested in that. And also if you had any issues transitioning. I didn't. Of course, my transition was having an allergic reaction to everything. Just try, kind of went through elimination. By the time I went totally carnivore, I was mostly eating meat anyways all the time. But I cut out the steel cut oats. I cut out this, uh, what is it, uh, broccoli or any greens or, you know, just everything. And I've heard uh, people say, well, what about going to the bathroom? Don't you need fiber? That's no problem. That hardly anything happens. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> and I think that kind of gives you a pooch too, right? So without that there, it's you're really flat so yeah <laughs> that's what awesome yeah i know exactly what you mean um uh, so what you eliminated uh the the vegetables and the grains and stuff did, mm -hmm. did you stick with anything specifically was it just beef did you have uh, well basically organic, beef uh, uh kind of like 2080 uh, i'll watch this i got a thing in the uh in the mail it was one of the local grocery stores, local, and you get 20 80 beef for $2 a pound and lim limit 10 pounds, right? But I, if, like in the, at the mailbox, everybody's throwing the cards away. So I got it, grabbed about five more and filled my freezer up. <laughs> and I'm good for like three months. <laughs> and it's good. I never get tired of eating it. And, and you know, that, that's, that's interesting because I have so many people ask me the same thing. You, you eat that all the time. And, and I'm glad to hear that you're, I'm not the only person. It seems that you're perfectly fine with ground beef too. And it's yeah. very affordable. It's very affordable if you find it on sale. And uh, I eat chicken. It's cheap sometimes. I love chicken. But I will say when I eat it, I just don't get the same. <clears throat> it just doesn't do it. It's good love it but i kind of eat and about an hour later says so something's missing i just don't quite feel the same oh one thing you know that that drink called naked and it's basically a health food drink it's got juices i think it's called naked and it's got uh whey protein in it and it's kind of a uh health food drink well they had it on sale at the, at the store the other day for bucks and i was kind of a little hungry had been home all day so i thought i'd drink it and when I drank it, I figured one time won't hurt me, right? So when I drank it, after I drank it, it's just like I went, I feel kind of crappy. 
And the next day, I didn't realize I actually got rid of this condition. I kind of woke up and I had the feeling of impending doom. I had a little trouble with depression and that feeling came back. I didn't really realize it was an issue till I didn't have it anymore and it came back. So it took about three days for me to get back to normal. But what I realized when I'm just on carnivore and don't have cheat days, my mom, my mind is calm. There's a calmness. I'm, I'm centered. I'm present and I'm not twirling all the time. And that's, I had never been able to do that in my life. And I don't have any uh, that's huge. reflux either. That went away also. Oh, this is weird. Uh, years ago, I started getting skin tags all over my neck. And I have a crusty mole about the size of the end of my finger. I went to the doctor and said, what about these tags? It's not just part of old age, you know, burn them off or whatever. He says, that's just a crusty mole on your shoulder. All my skin tags have fallen off my neck, and the crusty mole just shrunk down and it's gone. And I've had that mole on my shoulder for about 15 years, and it just went away like two months. I don't get it. No wow. rhyme or reason, but there you go. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mr. there's, there's so many people who just don't uh, uh, get huh? how healing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll be thrilled, I'm sure. Um, yeah. Okay, so you kind of went over a little bit about how things have improved. Um, I want to hit a little bit more on the Crohn's. If you could just uh, tell us, like, how much it's improved. I know you kind of said that, like, 70 to 80 percent. But what specifically, like, what are you feeling now? I feel level all through the day. I don't, you know, like, before, if you get, get close to lunchtime, you start having hunger pains, you start shaking, and your sugar levels are all over the place. I can eat one good meal in the morning, just, you know, like three quarters of a pound of meat or even a pound. And if I don't eat again until, even if I miss that day, I'm fine. I don't have any hunger pains and nothing. Just fine. And, it, and always having to kind of answer to what my body's dictating me to do if I don't have that nagging at me in the back, you know, you can get things done. So that's, that's that part. What else you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just really happy that you're doing so much better. Um, and thank you so very much for sharing your story. I've enjoyed oh, chatting welcome. with you. You're welcome. And I guess, <laughs> and I hope you have a really wonderful rest of the day. And we'll get through this uh, quarantine thing hopefully soon. <laughs> So we right. can get out there and socialize well, a little bit. Well, well I'd <laughs> like to end so with much. one thing. I'd like to end with one thing. This is not a diet. It's nothing you have to struggle to do. Once you make a decision to do it, you just do it. It's not something you have. Eating is so, it's just no, it's easy. You just eat your stuff and go on with your life. It's easy. And it, it's, there's no, there's no struggling. I think if Oprah did it, I love that. Forever. Thank you so much for oh, that. I love it. Yes. Yeah. I totally agree with you. <laughs> and, and thank you for reinforcing that. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> well, you have a wonderful day. And thanks again for joining us on Meet RX. Well, this is fun. Bye. I appreciate it. Thank you. 